let us move to the next problem. So here we are asked to find out the tan of sin inverse 3 by 5 plus cos inverse 5 by root 34. Suppose if you say this is alpha, this is beta, this we need to find out tan of alpha plus beta. So what is the value of tan of alpha plus beta? Yes, tan of alpha plus beta equals to tan alpha plus tan beta upon 1 minus tan alpha tan beta. So in order to find out tan of, tan of alpha plus beta, we need or we require two values. They are tan alpha and tan beta. So that means with the help of this sin inverse 3 by 5 and cos inverse 5 by root 34, we need to find out tan alpha and tan beta so that tan of alpha plus beta value can be evaluated. So first of all, let us assume sin inverse 3 by 5 is equal to alpha, we get sin alpha. Cos inverse 5 by root 34 is equal to beta, we get cos beta. With the help of sin alpha and cos beta, we have to find out tan alpha and tan beta. After that, we are going to evaluate the value of tan of alpha plus beta. So that will be the our solution, so that we can arrive to the solution. Here, let sin inverse 3 by 5 equals to alpha, sin alpha equals to 3 by 5. Now let us consider a triangle. This is alpha, this will be 3, 5, this will be 4. Now instead of cos alpha here, we need to find out tan alpha. You might have expected what is the reason behind this one. Yes, we have to find out tan of alpha plus beta so that we need here only we require tan alpha only. So that means tan alpha right down. So tan alpha is equal to opposite side by adjacent side 3 by 4. So now let us consider this one. Let cos inverse 5 by root 34 equals to beta. Next cos beta equals to 5 by root 34. So let us consider one more triangle that is right angle triangle only. Okay. Say this angle is beta. As for the definition of cosine function, this will be phi, this will be root 34. We need to find out this side. Root 34 square is 34, phi square is 24, phi 34 minus 25 is 9, 34 minus 25 is 9, this will be 3. Okay. Otherwise, you can check 9 plus 25, 35, root 34. Here also write down tan beta. Tan beta equals to 3 by 5. Tan alpha is 3 by 4, whereas tan beta is equal to 3 by 5. Now, according to the problem, we need to find out tan of alpha plus beta. Tan of A plus B formula. So, we know this is tan alpha plus tan beta by 1 minus tan alpha and tan beta. So substituting tan alpha, tan alpha is equal to 3 by 4, this is the value, tan beta is equal to 3 by 5. So this is 3 by 4 plus 3 by 5 upon 1 minus 3 by 4 multiplied by 3 by 5. Now 20 is the LCM, 5 into 315 plus 12, here 20 is the LCM, 20 minus 9, this is 27 by 20 by 11 by 20. This is 27 by 20 multiplied 20 by 11. Am I correct? 21 20. So 27 by 11. 
so therefore tan of sin inverse 3 by 5 plus cos inverse 5 by root 34 equals to 27 by 11. Hence, the problem has been solved. So, let us move to the next problem. Find tan of cos inverse 4 by 5 plus tan inverse 2 by 3. So, regarding to this problem, if you say cos inverse 4 by 5 is alpha, tan inverse 2 by 3 as beta, this is tan of alpha plus beta. Tan of alpha plus beta means tan alpha plus tan beta by 1 minus tan alpha tan beta. That means we need to find out tan alpha and tan beta values before going to evaluate tan of alpha plus beta. So now if you substitute tan alpha and tan beta in the formula tan of alpha plus beta so that the problem can be solved. So this kind of strategy has to be followed to solve this problem. Let cos inverse 4 by 5 equals to alpha. That implies cos alpha equals to 4 by 5. So, according to the problem, we need to find out before first tan alpha here. So, that means let us consider the triangle which is right angle only say alpha. This will be 4, this 5, this is 3. Now, you can say tan alpha is equal to 3 by 4. So, you might be observing according to the problem the ratio we have to find out here. Now, let tan inverse 2 by 3 equals to beta. Tan beta is equal to 2 by 3. Here one question will arise in your mind. Need we find out other values? Not. It does not require. Because we need only tan beta, directly we got it. So, we do not we need not actually find out other trigonometric ratios. So, now we know tan alpha and tan beta. So, that tan of alpha plus beta easily now we can find out. So, that means tan of alpha plus beta. So, equals to tan alpha plus tan beta upon 1 minus tan alpha and tan beta. Okay. Now, we need tan alpha value, we know that is 3 by 4 and we need tan beta, already directly we got it, that is 2 by 3. Let us substitute tan alpha for 3 by 4, tan beta for 2 by 3, there we get the answer. So, that means 3 by 4 plus 2 by 3 by 1 minus 3 by 4 multiplied by 2 by 3. Now, we need to simplify. 12 will be the LCM. 9 plus 8 by 12, 12 minus 6. So, now 9 plus 8 equals to 17 by 12. This is 6 by 12. So, how could we simplify this one? Yes, 17 by 12 into 12 by 6, 12 1 ja 12, that is equal to 17 by 6. So, that means the answer is therefore, tan of cos inverse 4 by 5 plus tan inverse 2 by 3 equals to 17 by 6. So, this is the answer.